Hey, bro, the teacher coming. Oh, shit. Hey man, um, thanks again for letting me rent out your uh, studio here because nobody else would rent it to me because they thought I couldn't rap. Like, isn't isn't that the craziest thing you've ever heard? Like, like, come on, man, I I can rap. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, whenever you want to start the beat, I'll uh I'll give it a go. Whatever, bro. It's your money that you're wasting. I'm headed to the top, I'm taking off just like a rocket ship Everybody love me, bitch, I'm hot just like some Taki chip My foe is the greatest, it's progressing, ain't no stopping it You say you the best, well then you must be an imposter, bitch Yeah, bitch, I'm a daily winner, yo, girl, I could maybe get her You a little boy, I'm taking care of you like babysitter Standing tall like flat top, bitch, I hit the jackpot She keep shooting me a text like we playing black ops Bad bitch from out of state, flow so fast as out of shape I'm cold-blooded, bitch, you might as well call me a rattlesnake Bitch, wait till I activate, no need to exaggerate Every day I just keep getting better at a rapid rate Hey, guess what? What's up, bro? What, bro? What is it? Y'all cute as hell. No, you cute, daddy. You're fine as hell. Nah, stop no, playing with me. You know stop playing with me, boy. bitch. You, you cute. cute. No, you, you cute. You sexy. No, you sexy. Man, you sexy. You stop sexy playing. as hell, boy. Bitch, you got a fat ass. You got no, a dumb truck. you got a big booty, I'm boy. Let me booty, clap daddy. them cheeks, daddy. I right, kiss you. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Stop playing with me. Cause I like to, to be fucked like, like a slut. Like. <laughs> Um, hey guys, can I play with y'all? Man, the fuck no, you can't play with us, man. Get your ass off the plane. You don't want to play with us. Leave, bitch. Leave. Oh my god, just leave. If you have this type of dog, something is very wrong with you. You are absolute menace to society if you got this dog, bro. Bro, if you got a fucking chihuahua. Don't you ever invite me to your house Cause I'm not coming I swear to god these bitches so evil bro Like how do you own one of these Bro I'm 100% convinced That chihuahuas are not even from this earth Like they gotta be from a different dimension Or planet or some shit These bitches are spawns of satan Bro look at his fucking face So you telling me that you actually own This demonic looking ass entity Have you ever seen the movie The Gremlins because that's what that shit look like. Listen, you cannot tell me these two ain't identical. If you have a fucking chihuahua, you can't tell me that you scared of anything. Because I know you not. Like, bro, you not scared this bitch gonna kill you in your fucking sleep? This relationship was toxic. It brought a lot of pain. Looks like another relationship down the drain. I thought you was the one. You was supposed to be my main. But now I'm hurt inside. I be crying in the rain. I can't deal with all this pain. My life is over. I can't believe you just got up and left without no closure. It wasn't nothing but an emotional roller coaster. I guess this is a part of life, a part of getting older. And to think we was about to make two weeks. I thought you said that you never wanted to lose me. Just yesterday we took a bath in my jacuzzi. This relationship was short like little Uzi. This one's for you, Jacob. For cheating on me with that bitch. <sighs> Boy, you cheated on me. And now my heart is broken. Did I say that this relationship was open? You treated me like a Chuck E. Cheese token. 
I knew what you was doing. You think that I ain't noticed? What is wrong with you? I thought we was in love. But then you went and gave another bitch a hug. You really stepped on my heart just like a bug. And she wasn't even cute. What the fuck? Please, we just need you to cooperate. Man, I ain't cooperating shit, bro. Get the fuck up out my face, man. I ain't no fucking snitch. Sir, all we need you to do is tell us who robbed the bank. I'm not telling you shit, man. Get the fuck up out my face, bro. Okay, okay. What if I offered you a Subway sandwich? So what happened was Andre was the driver. His name is Andre Simmons. He's, he lived right down the road on Maple Street. Yeah, he was the driver. He was driving everybody to the heights. And it was Keyshawn Smith that robbed the whole bank. These are the rules for my future kids. Let's get it. So first, we got that curfew. Now listen, I don't want you to be out too late. You feel me? I'm going to say be in the house by 6 a.m. You know some light, some light. Okay, so next, we got girlfriend slash boyfriend. So when am I going to let my children date? Bitch, I don't give a fuck when you date. Bitch. I don't give a fuck if you four, five, I don't give a fuck. Bitch, I had my first girlfriend in kindergarten, bitch. My son gonna be pulling. So next, we got the nasty. If I walk in your room and I see that you snuck in somebody and you doing the nasty, look, this how I'ma be. You feel me? You feel me? Look, I ain't seen shit, bitch. Do you? But if y'all too loud, I'm sending y'all ass to a hotel. You feel me? Because y'all not finna keep me up all night. These are the worst pets to have. If you ever had any of these pets, you know what I'm talking about. Man, first on the list, we got goldfish, bro. If you ever had a fucking goldfish, you know these bitches do not last long. I swear to God, these bitches die within like two days of you getting them, bro. Bro, when I was little, I went to the pet store, right? I got me a goldfish, right? Bro, tell me how that sorry ass fish didn't even survive the drive home, bro. As soon as we got home, that bitch was upside down in the fishbowl, bruh. Come on, now. Nah. Next on the list, we got hamsters, bruh. Don't never get you no hamster. These bitches are always getting lost, bruh. If you ever get a hamster, you will lose it. I promise you. Bitch, you can lock a hamster in the most secure facility in the world. And these bitches will somehow escape and you will never find them again. Last but not least, we got chihuahuas, bruh. Look at this evil ass dog. Babe, I gotta use the bathroom. Babe, Get out. Lemonade, crunchy ice. Sip it once, sip it twice. Lemonade, crunchy ice. Sip it once, sip it twice. Turn around, touch the ground, kick your boyfriend out of town and freeze. Can y'all please shut up? Boy, shut up. Nobody was even talking to you. Yeah, tell him, best friend. He probably just jealous that he can't play with us. Yeah, girl, he just hating because his ugly ass don't have nobody to play with. For real. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God, I'm finna bitch slap these future thotties, bro. They getting on my last damn nerve, bro. Man, maybe 2009 Chris Brown wasn't completely out of his mind after all. I'm finna focus my inner chi on these bitches, man. Go Bruce Lee on these bitches, man. Stop playing with me. Man, I knew all them episodes of Cobra Kai was gonna pay off one day. If your girlfriend don't get you these things for Christmas, she don't love you. Part 2. Listen, if Shawty don't go back in time and get you a damn dinosaur, she ain't shit, bro. She don't love you. Like, what type of pet did you think that I wanted? A dog? A cat? A goldfish? Nah, everybody got that shit, bro. Give me a damn T-Rex. Give me a pterodactyl. I'm telling you, I better have a dinosaur under the Christmas tree by December 25th. If she don't finish making GTA 6 for you, she don't give a fuck about you. If your girlfriend is not willing to make a game that she know that you've been waiting on for eight years, that don't sound like somebody who love you to me. Last but not least, if she don't give you an autograph from Jesus Christ himself, I'm sorry, sweetie, but I don't want to be with you anymore. Wait, so let me get this straight. 
You mean to tell me that you cheated on me with Jasmine, Yasmin, Emily, Elizabeth, Isabella, Mia, Madison, Addison, Nevaeh, Lily, Natalie, Naomi, Serenity, Sophie, and then you took Dominique on a date to the zoo? Man, we ain't even go to the zoo. It was the aquarium. Like, I don't know what you lying for, like. I swear to God, I swear to myself, don't none of y'all eat from that tree over there. Don't worry, God. We promise we not going to eat from that tree. Right, Eve? Uh-huh. Sure. All right, catch y'all later. I'm going to get something to eat. I'm going to go walk over there. Hey, Eve. Psst. What the hell? Down here, bitch. Hey, yo, what's that with it, Eve? Hey, that don't matter right now, but guess what, Eve? What? I got a little present for you, Eve. Look at this, look at this. Ta-da. Bitch, look, it's an apple. Didn't God just tell me not to eat that? No, man, that was something else. Okay. Eve, wait, hold on, what you know? Thickest Random Objects Part 3. For this one, I told y'all to send me thick objects up on Instagram. So let's see what y'all got for me today. Ooh, shit. Hold on. Watermelon got hella ass. That bitch got booty for days, man. Where the fuck do y'all be finding these fruits at? The fuck? Onion about flat as shit. Bitch, your back go straight down, bitch. Bitch, I could lay my homework on your booty and use your booty as support. Hold on. Well... It ain't all that, but it's kinda good. Listen, this cherry kinda got ass. At least you better than the onion. Well, goddamn, bitch. Bike seat about thick as shit, bitch. Got all the right curves. Where can I order this shit? Are you kidding me? Man, go ahead with this flat ass rock, bitch. Granny booty ass, bitch. Well, goddamn, Dora. Hola, soy tay. Can you give me directions to your crib? So apparently, they giving transgenders a monthly payment of nine hundred dollars. Hey, what's up? Hey. What you doing? Um, nothing. Um, how was your day? Good. Uh, uh, that's, that's cool. So you just gonna play the game instead of talk to me? What? You just gonna play the game instead of talk to me? No, I, I was just... No, no, you know what? You can play the game if you want to. Bye. Hello? So you're not gonna call me back? What? You hung up on me? No, it's fine if you don't want to talk to me. You can play the game. Goodbye. So you're not going to tell us who committed the crime? Man, hell no. I ain't telling you shit, judge. You think I'ma just snitch on my homeboys like that? My partners? Man, they're my day ones for real, bro. I came up with them boys, bro. I'm loyal to the gang, bro. Ain't no way I'm snitching on them, dawg. Nah, I'll just take my sentence. Sir, you do realize that you're facing 65 years to life in federal prison if you don't tell us who did it. Man, it was Keyshawn, judge. It was Keyshawn Smith. He orchestrated the whole entire heist, judge. I seen it with my own eyes. I seen it. He, he tried to make me do that shit. I didn't even want to do it in the first place, judge. I'm just a bystander. It was Keyshawn Emmanuel Smith that did all of that shit. All of it. Get him, judge. Get him. Get him. Get on the wave. Ain't no stopping that booty. Chill the fuck out, mom. I told you not to take that goddamn vaccine, bro. Babe, I got a question. What's up? Would you still love me if I was a cockroach? <sighs> oh my god, there she go again with them dumbass questions. Babe, listen to me. I mean this in the most respectful way possible, okay? Okay, baby.
Why would I want to love a cockroach? So you wouldn't love me no more? Okay, 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 yes. Yes, I would love you. Oh, okay, baby. I knew you would still love me. <laughs> would you still love me if I ain't had no arms, no legs, no head, no, no, no body, no nothing at all? Babe. If you ain't had no arms, no legs, no head, no nothing, no body. Uh-huh. You wouldn't exist. Right? Right. Exactly. You wouldn't be there. Yes, correct. So how could I love nothing? You get what I'm saying? No, 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 no. no. Send this video to your parents or your grandparents. If they always using emojis wrong and you getting sick and tired of it and you need to teach them. Now listen here. Stop using this emoji wrong. Listen to me. You do not use this emoji when somebody died. This is one of the laughing emojis. We use this emoji when something has us dead. So stop using it like this. That This is embarrassing. That's wrong. Now this is another one that I see that you have trouble with. This is not a sad emoji. You don't use this when you sad. You use it when you laughing so hard that you crying. We use this when something is hilarious, bro. This is the top tier laughing emoji. And last but not least, we got the sideways laughing emoji. Now listen, you are only supposed to use this emoji when A, something is not funny, B, you trying to make fun of somebody, or C, you just trying to be downright disrespectful. I'm yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I'm too busy getting this cheddar, getting this money. I'm trying to make my pockets fat, trying to make them chubby. All the dudes that want me be so fucking ugly. Bitch, they only want me because I got that yummy. I got that ooh, ooh, it ain't for you, ooh. I got that wet, I call it chicken noodle soup. The biggest This how NBA Youngboy rap. Part two. <laughs> Man, you stupid bitch. Chopper City, Glocks out. Try me, you get knocked out. Tell them fizz to let me go, man. Tell them free the top knock. Yeah, bitch, I'ma pop out. I'm a rich drop out. I'ma show you haters. I'ma show them what the top out. Diamonds on my neck be dancing. No success, I keep advancing. When I go up on that stage, my fans go crazy. They be chanting. All my money keep expanding. Posted in a big ass mansion. Ex keep calling back. I told her I ain't giving no more chances. What you clean yourself in the shower with says about you. Let's get it. So first on the list, if you clean yourself with a rag, you 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 just normal. You alright. You feel me? Like you the, you just trying to get up in the shower, clean yourself, and get out in ten minutes. That's it. Next on the list, if you use a loofah, oh you clean clean. You feel me? Them loofahs be getting in them skin cells. You feel me? Them bitches be getting the epidermis of your skin. Them bitches get way deep in there. If you use loofahs, you is clean, clean. You be scrubbing this shit out your body. I'm telling you. Next on the list. If you use this brush right here, bro, what the fuck are you? Like, people only be using this shit on cartoons and shit. On Spongebob and shit. I ain't never seen no real person use this shit. Bro, if you use this, you was the definition of an NPC. Like, you probably be wearing them sleep masks on your face when you go to sleep. Okay, everybody, quiet down, quiet down. I'm about to take roll. Okay, let's see. Coin Lorray. Yeah. Pooh Shiesty. Big brr. Megan the Stock. <laughs> Can you please let me finish? <laughs> NBA Young Boy. I say, what it is? Folk ain't trade, bitch. Hey, 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 no, no cursing, or I'm gonna write you up. Hey, say, you lucky I won't speak on it. Blueface. Yeah, all right. Hey, uh, Blueface, no, you're too far in the back. Come sit by young boy. Ooh, damn, I'm finna fuck him. What? What's up, bro? How you been?
Hello? I know you hear me talking. Ow! Damn! Well, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. God damn! <laughs> that really hurt. <laughs> so you're not even gonna say sorry? I can't get a band aid or nothing? Damn! Heart been broke so many times, I don't know it to be live. Mother say it's my fault, it's my fault, I wear my heart on my sleeve. Hi, how are ya? Back it up, back it up, back it up, do you have a wristband? No, you can't get in without a wristband. No, I'm not gonna mess with you for the free. You're wearing Crocs. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. Did you file your paperwork last night? <laughs> oh my god, is that a spider? <laughs>
And then when we went back to school, Michael Jackson came back to life and then started performing a private concert in the gym. And then NBA Youngboy broke out of jail and came to our school and started performing with Michael Jackson. And then NBA Youngboy and Michael Jackson gave everybody a free autograph. So there's a perfectly good explanation to this question. I'm glad you asked. Allow me to explain. So if you take a look at the visible light spectrum here, obviously there's a lot of colors that the human eye can see. Now, just the other day, somebody called me out on acting blue. So I realized I had to change my attitude. So I transitioned to orange. But somebody called me out on that too. So I had to transition to acting green. As I was acting green, I realized I was feeling a little weird. So I said to myself, what color can I act? that has the great qualities of all the colors combined. Then I later found out that black is all the colors combined. So there you have it folks. That's why I've been acting black. Oh, and one other thing I almost forgot to tell y'all. I'm biologically black. So Nikki, tell me something Sam. So you mean to tell me that you never fucked Wayne and you never fucked Drake? All your life, man, fuck sake? What? Nikki, why you ain't follow me back, son? I been followed you ever since I downloaded Instagram in 2014. I'm pretty sure you was the first person that I followed on Instagram. Hey, Nikki, what is a barb? Because I be seeing a whole lot of people talking about, oh, I'm a barb, or I'm not a barb, or she a barb, he a barb. What the fuck is a barb? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Somebody please tell them who the I is. I am Nikki Minaj. I mack them dudes up. Back coops up and chuck the dudes up. Nikki, why you did that song with 6 9 son? With his clown ass. You should've did a song with me. I'm, I'm a way better rapper than 6 9 bruh. Swear to God. Boy, you got my heart beat running away. Beating like a drum and it's coming your way. Uh, can't you hear that boom, ba dum boom, boom, ba dum boom, baby. Got that super big. Boom, ba dum boom, boom, ba dum boom, baby. Hey, excuse me, you know I could find room 107? Ooh, boy, you fine? What your name is? <laughs> My name is Alante, but I don't really got time for that right now. I got to get to room 107. Room? Boy, you could come to my room, the folk. The folk. The folk. The... <laughs> okay, I appreciate it, but can you please tell me what this is? Hold up, ain't you that boy from TikTok? <gasps> I watch all your videos, period. You know what? Never mind. I got it, bro. Ah, oh, boy. Get your ass back here. Oh, shit, bitch. What the fuck wrong with you, bitch? Get the fuck up off me, man. God damn. Bitch, I'm transferring schools now, bitch. Boy, what the fuck is you looking at? Always looking at me, yo. Damn. My name is Alicia Sharkeisha Bonquisha Amnesia Anesthesia Credit Carvisa One Slice of Pizza Shaquiquisha Williams. I'm 14 and I'm loud as fuck for no reason. And what about it? I always been loud ever since I could remember. Ever since I was in pre-K, I always was the loudest girl in the class. Period. Like I got so loud to the point where I'm just loud as fuck. You feel me? And the neighbors be calling the cops on me because I get too loud sometimes. What's your name, young blood? Um, uh, my name's Jonathan. Jonathan? What you in here for? I be hitting my mom. You be hitting your mama? You be hitting your mama? Sometimes. Nah, come hit me! Come hit me! My name is Sodium Phosphate Yeast Extract. They call me Q-Tip. I'm 26, and I've been locked up in here for 40 years. For littering. Yeah. The fuck is you looking at, bitch? My name is Jaquavion Tavius. I'm six years old. And I do drugs, steal, fight, gang bang, domestic violence. And I like to slap squirrels that I find in trees. <gasps> Excuse me, officer? Can I help you? Hey. What's your cute ass doing out here? My name's Bone Kui Kui. I'm 17. And I like to flirt with male police officers. You're under arrest. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Aggressive, my baby. Mom, you better leave me the fuck alone. I'm not coming home. My name's Connor. I'm 14, and I like to disrespect my mother. I'm so scared of my son. Sometimes he pulls knives on me, and sometimes he tells Mom. me to. Mom. Yes, honey. Where the fuck is my Pokemon collection? 
Bro, this generation is wild as hell. Like, y'all are wild, bro. I'm telling you. Y'all ever be on TikTok and you look at a girl's comment section? People be in that bitch talking about the Grip Reaper. <laughs> what? Like, y'all be in there talking about, I know it's bubblegum pink. No, that's 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 crazy. How the fuck I cut you off? You running back that little whole D one. Yeah, she's a trap star, baby. Stop tagging me in this video. I don't know why y'all trying to play on me like that. Look like me. This do not look like me, bro. Y'all doing too much in the comments, bro. At Tay Two Wavy, you not fooling us, bro. She don't look nothing like me. Never mind, I kind of see it. If your girlfriend don't get you any of these things for Christmas, she don't love you. Part 2. So first on the list, if she don't become an astronaut and get you a pet alien, then what is you doing still with her, bro? Like she not willing to go to space and get you a pet that's not even on this earth? She won't get you a lame ass cat or a dog? Man, nobody want that, man. Come on, man. Next on the list. If she don't buy you Disney World, <laughs> she's cheating. Like, like you really not trying to buy me what is known as the happiest place on earth? So, so, so really, you trying to say that you don't want me to be happy? Red flag. Last but not least. If she don't buy you immortality. So she don't want you to be young and live forever and ever and ever? Nah. Break up with her. Yeah, oh, that's so cute. Still smells like dicks. Wait, wait, whoa, what the fuck? Today, we going over the hardest tattoos to have if you a dude, you feel me? You trying to get some hoes? You trying to get some bitches? Look. I'm about to put you on right now, I'm telling you. So first on the list, we got this one right here, man. Now listen, everybody been watching that Wednesday Adams. Listen, everybody been watching, look, Jenna Ortega? Come on now, bro, you gotta get this, bro. I'm telling you, all the hoes gonna love this. All the, I'm telling you, you gonna, you gonna get so many girls. Next on the list, we got this one right here, man. Now listen, what does everybody love in the world? Money! And who's on the $100 bill? Benji, come on, man. You gotta get this tatted, bro. This exact portrait. Don't, don't get no, don't get anything else but this one right here, cause all, all the girls gonna love that. Last but not least, we got this one right here, man. Now listen, I'm telling you, all the girls love this. The girls love this. This, you will get so much attention if you get this. Bro, you not better than me, bro. Watch this. Ah! What's your favorite sleeping position says about you? Let's get it. So first on the list, we got this position right here, man. Now listen, only dudes do this. <laughs> only dudes sleep straight on their back, bro. I'm telling you, girls do not sleep like this. Like, we really the only species that'll really sleep straight like this. Like, and it's comfortable to us. Like, I'll be dead knocked out like this. I promise we not possess. It's just comfortable to us. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. Next on the list, we got this position right here, man. Now, listen, everybody know this is all the girls' go-to position. Once you see her get in this position, it is over with. Okay, like, she will stay frozen like this for the rest of the night. All the way past the next morning into the afternoon. So just know if you ever land with your girl and she start laying on you like this, she ain't getting up for the next week. What you clean yourself in the shower with says about you. Part two. Let's get it. So apparently some of y'all be using sponges to clean yourself. Now let me let me just say, what the fuck are you? A dirty dish? 
I'm just playing. I'm, not, I'm. It's not that bad. Nah, but for real, if you use a sponge, you probably is clean as shit. Cause sponges really could get into your skin. If you if you really scrub your skin with a sponge, that'll get all the dirty skin cells off. I'm telling you. So if you clean yourself with a sponge, I'm 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 not hating on you. Hey, do you? I'm, to be honest, you clean as hell. Next on the list, if you use your hand, I ain't gonna lie, that's outrageous. That is blasphemous. I, I'm, I, I'm calling the police. You're going to jail. That has to be a crime in all 50 states. That's a life sentence. What you clean yourself in the shower with says about you. Let's get it. So first on the list, if you clean yourself with a rag, you 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 just normal. You all right. You feel me? Like you the, you just trying to get up in the shower, clean yourself, and get out in ten minutes. That's it. Next on the list, if you use a loofah, oh you clean clean. You feel me? Them loofahs be getting in them skin cells. You feel me? Them bitches be getting the epidermis of your skin. Them bitches get way deep in there. If you use loofahs, you is clean clean. You be scrubbing this shit out your body. I'm telling you. Next on the list. If you use this brush right here, bro, what the fuck are you? Like, people only be using this shit on cartoons and shit. On Spongebob and shit. I ain't never seen no real person use this shit. Bro, if you use this, you was the definition of an NPC. Like, you probably be wearing them sleep masks on your face when you go to sleep. What the type of soap you use says about you. Let's get it. So first on the list, if you use dial, you you alright. You feel me? It's just what everybody starts out with. You feel me? Like that's the default soap. That's the level one soap. You get what I'm saying? Like at, at some point in your life, you have to level up from this. You can't keep using this for the rest of your life. Next on the list, we got Dove. Now listen, everybody know this is strictly for the ladies. You feel me? Like this is the female bundle. Like what are you doing if you a dude using Dove? Shit, you probably be using tampons too. I don't know what you be. Last but not least, we got X Body Wash. Now listen, everybody know this is the dude's go-to body wash. You feel me? Like we do not give a fuck. We walk up in Walmart, get the first X body wash we see, use that shit for two years straight. Swear to God, that shit be lasting long as hell. You know what I've been thinking about? Like when we all get old as hell, are we all finna act the same way on social media? Like on Snapchat and shit? Like are we just gonna be like just the real definition of four pockets full? Nah, bro, what is in your toilet? I, I, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit you talking about. What is in your toilet? Talking about some pockets full. Bitch, your toilet full! You just ruined my fucking day seeing that shit, bruh! I be trying to get on TikTok to escape this shitty reality. And then I see some literal shit! You see that girl over there? I'm about to impress her. I'm about to do a really cool flip, and then she'll want to be with me. <laughs> what the type of dog you have says about you, part two. So first on the list, if you have a husky, okay, first of all, you want to be different because these is not dogs, they wolves. Second, if you have a husky, you better live in a cold region, bro. You better not live in no California with no husky, bro. These are these are winter dogs. Look at this dog playing in the snow, bro. You can't live in no Arizona or some some hot ass state with a husky. Next on the list, if you have a pug, bro, 
you have a lot of patience i'm telling you these things always have something wrong with them bro i'm telling you it's not possible to have a pug that doesn't end up having something wrong with them like they always be having problems with their eyes and shit like you you must have a lot of patience if you have one of these what the type of dog you have says about you let's get it so first on the list if you have a pit bull i ain't gonna lie you a cool person you feel me you're a nice kind-hearted compassionate individual you feel me because if you ever had a pit bull you know they're not this mean vicious creature that everybody tries to say they are you feel me like if you ever even been around a pit bull you know that they're the sweetest creatures ever they're they're, they're just the best next on the list if you have a fucking chihuahua i know you're annoying because fucking chihuahuas are annoying as fuck these bitches never shut the fuck up i'm telling you if you have a chihuahua this will be your first and last dog ever you know why because these bitches never fucking die they never die like these bitches will outlive you these are the most vicious creatures on the planet i'm telling you it holds the number one spot for the most evil thing on this So you telling me I'm 19 years old and can barely grow any facial hair whatsoever, but that baby is 19 seconds old and probably has his own personal collection of razors color coded for each day of the week? I, I, I don't even- What's your favorite pizza place says about you? Let's get it. So first on the list, we got Pizza Hut. Now listen, if Pizza Hut is your favorite pizza place, I ain't gonna lie, you cool, you know what I'm saying? You got good taste. You feel me? Like, listen, Pizza Hut does everything right. You could never go wrong with a slice of pizza from Pizza Hut, I'm telling you. Bro, their pizza is extravagant. Like, you you literally can't tell me otherwise, bro. If your favorite pizza place is Pizza Hut, that tells me that you have good taste, and I will allow you to choose where we eat every single time. Next on the list... We got Papa John's. Now listen, if your favorite pizza place is Papa John's, I ain't gonna lie, you good too. You feel you straight too. You get what I'm saying? Like, listen, Papa John's is just as good as Pizza Hut. Like, yeah, it's a little different. The formula is different, but it's still equally good. You feel me, bro? Papa John's is good, bro. I don't care what none of y'all say, bro. If you think Papa John's is nasty, something is clearly wrong with the Papa John's that's near you. You feel me? Because the Papa John's where I'm at is that yes. It's that yes, daddy. I'm telling you. So if your favorite pizza place is Papa John's, nothing is wrong with you. You feel me? Like nothing is wrong with your taste buds. They're working perfectly. Next on the list, we got Domino's. Now listen, Domino's is fucking nasty. I, I don't care what nobody's. I don't care if I'm the only one that thinks this. I have never been able to eat Domino's ever since I was a kid. That shit is nasty. Something is wrong with their formula, bro. Bro, if you eat Domino's, I don't, I don't even know what to say to you. You probably think cafeteria food at school is good. Listen, I already know what everybody finna be saying in the comments. Man, Domino's is good, man. You don't even know what you're talking about, man. I don't care. I said what I said, bro. Like I feel like I will never meet a person in my life that feels the same way about Domino's as I do. But I really don't care. Domino's is not good. And even if you do think it's good, it's not the best. Like if you live near a Domino's, a Pizza Hut, and a Papa John's, why would you choose Domino's as your first option, bro? Like you literally had two better options right there. Last but not least, we got Chuck E. Cheese Pizza. Now listen. I don't know what type of witchcraft or fucking spells they put on a pizza, but that shit is so fucking fire, bro. That shit is so good. Bro, I will go to Chuck E. Cheese right now as an adult just to eat their pizza. It's that good. It's better than all the other restaurants I mentioned in this video, bro. 
what's your hair texture says about you let's get it so first on the list we got the best curly hair now listen if you have curly hair you have lots and lots of patience Bro, everybody with curly hair knows how much of a struggle it is to live our daily lives, especially waking up in the morning. When people with curly hair wake up in the morning, it looks like we just survived the worst natural disaster known to man. Next on the list, we got straight hair. Now listen, if you have straight hair, you live your life on easy mode because you could just wake up in the morning and boom, you're done. You're ready for the day. People with straight hair will tell you, um, no, I actually have to do my hair in the morning. No, you don't, Susan. It's already done for you. Last but not least, we got wavy hair. Now, listen, if you have wavy hair, you're automatically attractive. Like, it don't even matter what you look like. If you do any of these things, you have no personality. If you have this profile picture on TikTok or any social media for that matter, you have no personality, no originality, you can't think for yourself, and you're probably annoying. People that have this profile picture all act the exact same. I don't care what none of you say. You all have that same TikTok personality. Next on the list, if you say side eye and you think that this is the funniest response to everything, that immediately lets me know that you get your whole personality from TikTok. Bro, I swear y'all come up with a new phrase every single year and y'all will not stop using it for the whole year. It'd be the cringiest phrases ever and y'all be thinking y'all the coolest people in the world for saying it. And by the way, I'm not in jail. That last video was a joke. TikTok star with nearly a million followers is behind bars today, accused of killing his wife and her friend. Ali Abulaban is being held without bond. He is charged with two counts of murder. Police say it was the result of a domestic. Last one of you to take your hand off this million dollar stack of cash keeps it. I Listen, I don't care if Jesus Christ himself came down and tried to remove me from that stack of cash. I would not take my hand off of that shit on oh, my granny daughter. I don't care if Thanos snapped his fingers and everything in existence just started to disappear. You know what's not disappearing? My hand away from that cash. I, I don't. So Mr. Chu, how exactly Will you ensure the safety of people using TikTok? Uh, well, we would start. Absolutely not. OK, that is not going to fly here, Mr. Chu. It is a yes or no question. OK, so answer yes or no. I mean, well, well that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to. Oh, my God. OK, moving on, moving on. You can't even answer that question. So moving on. Um, so, Mr. Chu. Why is it that when I use your TikTok filters, my pupils dilate? Do you do you care to explain that? Um, what what exactly? It is mean? a yes or no question. Okay, yes or no. You know what? Never mind. Moving on. So, Mr. Chu, um, what? did you have for breakfast this morning um well, lord have mercy help us all mr chu i will not say it again it is a yes or no question you know what never mind never mind moving on so mr chu uh what is your opinion on gta 6 still not being released in 2023 I'm sorry, I'm, I don't even know what that is. Okay, clearly you did not come here to have a civilized conversation, Mr. Chu, so you can see yourself out, okay? Bye. Oh no, Dora is pregnant. Your fourth dad is the father. Bro, I wish I would, bro. I swear to God. What the fuck? These are the best 
ice cream truck items. So first on the list, we got the classic SpongeBob Popsicle. Now listen, this has to be the best ice cream truck item. You feel me? Like it's just so iconic. Usually when people say ice cream truck, this is what pops up in your mind. Like it, it's the face of the ice cream truck. Like it's, it's so iconic. The only bad thing about this is it is almost never perfect. Every single time you open a SpongeBob Popsicle, SpongeBob is always fucked up. Next on the list, we got the bubblegum snow cone. Now listen, this always slaps. I have no criticism. Like this is this is it all it's gonna do it every single time. I'm telling you. Last but not least, we got these right here, man. Now listen, these are called the two ball screw balls. Pause. Listen, don't let the name fool you. These these are phenomenal. If you know, you know. That's what the black cherry look like. Blue raspberry. So this is what the can look like. Cheers, buddy. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me where the bread is? What? Can you please tell me where the bread is? The bread? Bitch, do this look like where you find bread at? It's on the whole other side of the store, sweetheart. Jesus Christ. This bitch really gonna ask me about some bread and come out of fucking tires and shit. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Excuse me, sir. Do you know where I can find the bathroom? Oh, the bathroom? Uh, shit. Uh. Hey, look. You gonna go all the way down now? Uh-huh. And then, uh, ask the cashiers. Because shit, I don't know. If you ain't talking money, I don't hear you. You ain't got to touch me out of faith. That's Skrilla. That's Skrilla. Bob, hey, I'm sir. Excuse me. What? Can you please tell me the price of these? Bitch, I, I don't know. Why Why would I know the price? I, I just work here. Go ask the cashiers. They don't want scanning all the things and, and seeing all the prices pop up on the screen. Ask them. I, I don't know. Excuse me, sir. Can you unlock that case over there for me? Unlock it? Bitch, do it look like I have any type of access to that shit? Do it look like I have a key? Look. These are the only fucking keys I have, bitch. These are my car keys. You want them here? The fuck? Sir? Sir! What? Somebody spilled something on aisle 7. Okay, so step over it. How about don't fall? Like, this is what I be talking about, bro. Y'all be asking the dumb ass fucking questions, bro. I swear to God, bro. All right, Mr. Nicholas, I strongly advise you to tell me who is selling the drugs. Now, listen, I think it is in your best interest to tell me. <laughs> Mr. Nicholas, what on earth are you laughing at, son? Okay? What is so damn funny? Man, what's funny is you think I'm about to tell you that shit, bitch. You're trying to play me like I'm some fucking snitch or some shit, man. Man, get the fuck out of my face, man. You fucking pig. I ain't telling you shit. Man. If you do not disclose this information, you will be facing a minimum sentence of one trillion years in federal prison, son. Oh, you was trying to find out who was selling the drugs. Why, yes, sir. That is correct. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, Tavion Williams. Okay. Tavion Williams. He's, he is the main supplier of the drugs. Really? You feel me? And his accomplice, actually, mm -hmm. his name is uh, Devin Anderson. Okay. He helps distribute all the drugs to all the locations. Let me just go ahead and, and write this all down so you, you know, have their information. Of course. Tavion Williams. 
number, 864-562-9731. And uh, Devin Anderson, of course. It's uh, Devin Anderson. It's number, 776-532-9828. There you go. It's just all their information, so you don't leave anything out. Uh, hey, buddy. Yo. Yeah. yeah, what's up, man? Hi. How you doing? Uh, you find everything you need today? Oh yeah, you know, just uh, just just your basic groceries here, you know. So yeah. Oh okay, yeah. You sure that's the that's the only thing you got? Uh yeah, yeah man yeah. Why? What's up? Oh it's just it just seems like you you got other things than that, you know. So. Ah, uh, no, 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 definitely not, man. You know what? What you see in the card here is is what I is what I have, man. Ah, uh, okay. Well, uh, you know what's crazy, actually, is uh, we actually just got some PS fives in stock. So uh, you know. Oh wow! Really? Did you? Wow, man, that's crazy. I, I I didn't know that. I didn't I didn't know that, bro. If I had known that, I would have I would have got one for myself. You know. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, lift your shirt up, man? What? Whoa, 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 bro. What, what do you mean, bro? What do you mean, lift my shirt up, bro? What, what do you have a crush on me, bro? What? No. No. No, 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 bro. no, 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 that no, way, bro. Bro. That is nah, not you want some, what I'm bro. saying, bro. You are completely Real. misunderstanding me right you want now. Some. Listen, man, I know you have a PS5 under your hoodie, so why don't you bro, just do what? us no. all a favor and put it back? And no, bro. What? A PS5 under my shirt, bro? That, that has to be absolutely the most ridiculous thing that I have ever Hey Hey Bro, are you sure you want to do this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, man. I'm uh ready to go. Let's let's get it crack a lacking. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Hey, bitch, I'm hard. I don't play, I go bizarre. Bitch, if you don't think I'm with it, catch me on the boulevard. <laughs> you ain't bout it, oh, you hard? Bitch, I doubt it. Man, I always keep that tool, bitch. I don't go nowhere without it. Bitch, I'm fresh as hell, I got on Louie. Always strapped, I keep a toolie. Yo, girl, keep on shooting me a text, I call it Call of Duty. Bitch, I'm kicking shit like Bruce Lee. Yeah, I'm like that, absolutely. I just took your girl just like a beast, that's why I call her beauty. Hey, hey, man. Um, I, uh, I. I, I don't feel like I did a good job on that one. Um, can we please start over, please? Damn, girl, you cute as hell. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Boy, stop! Like you, you don't mean that. Like you don't, you don't really mean that. What you mean? Like you, you, you gotta be the the most beautiful girl I ever <laughs> seen in my life. <laughs> Oh my god, boy, like, you you are just too much. Like, you are just, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you, like. Shit, I know what I'm gonna do with you. For real. <laughs> oh my god, like. Bro, why do you always cover your mouth when you laugh? Boy, because, like, I'm too ugly when I laugh. Like, I can't just laugh. I have to cover my mouth because I'm too ugly, like. No, you not. You probably cute when you laugh. <laughs> 
well thanks but no bro yes you are bro like just 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 try to laugh without covering your mouth i mean okay are you sure you want to see that yes i'm positive okay okay tell me a joke okay uh let me see what did the triangle say to the circle what you're pointless <laughs>